There he is. Oh, that was so cool. Hello YouTube, welcome to another creek fishing adventure. In this video, I decided to go to what is probably my favorite creek. It has good bass and it has a little bit of variety of different types of fish. So I decided to bring my baitcaster and a ultralight spinning combo because I wanted to see how many fish and of course different types of fish that I could catch. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoy the video. Got him. Woo! This has been sort of a pretty tough start. The, uh, I believe the water is, I'd say it's definitely lower, but it's also super clear, which is not normally like that. So I think that's kind of made the fishing harder. So I'm probably gonna have to start sneaking up on the banks and stuff and seeing if I can't get them. We'll go ahead and release this guy. Got him on the bass jig. Really glad I brought the bait caster and the bass jig. Hopefully we can get something pretty good size. There we go. Oh, it's a little bass. Oh, let's get John up here. Wow, that is so much different. I went from a seven foot bait caster with like 15 pound line on it to a five, like a five, six rod with four pound line on it. Show you all this little bass on the trout magnet. Awesome little creek bass. Hopefully we can get some bigger ones with the, uh, the bass jig today, but either way, if I get a bunch of these, I'll be happy. See you, buddy. There he is. Oh, gosh. All right, we got it. A lot of weeds and stuff below me. Little trees and whatever. I was getting a bunch of bites on the... Uh... I thought I heard something, but... Got a bunch of bites on the bass jig. Couldn't get them. Ended up being little green sunfish. They usually peck the heck out of pretty much everything you throw, so... Finally got one of them on the little crawfish. There we go. Unfortunately, I was throwing the bass jig around a lot, getting a lot of pecks, of course, and uh, yeah, this is more than likely what was pecking at, it, pecking at it. But that's fine, we finally got something. It's been a minute. Let's go ahead and get a close-up of this little dude. Always some awesome little fish. All sorts of little cool colors on them. Got the little blue stripe sort of things on the front toward their mouth. Little orange tips on their fins and whatnot. Just some really cool little fish. Let's go ahead and put them back. See you, buddy. All right, so I decided to go ahead and switch to this crappie magnet, I believe this is. Wasn't getting too many bites on that little crawfish, so let's go ahead and switch it up and see what happens. Can definitely cast it further. Oh, that's a fish. All right. We might have just got the right fish at the right time, or our crappie magnet is 
going to be the better lure. We'll see. Um, I also caught a little green sunfish, uh, but uh, my GoPro died. But uh, yeah, I caught him on the little crawfish, and then after that, didn't get too much. So hopefully, this crappie magnet is the ticket. There's another little fish. Number two on the crappie magnet. The crappie and trout magnets are honestly super great lures. Definitely recently have became some of my favorite little things to throw. There we go. So it looks like we have found our lure or a little soft plastic that's going to get it done. And it looks like we have found a hole of fish. I'm sure there's probably definitely some bass. Um, I'll probably get the bass jig out again at some point here soon. Whoa, these must be the little dudes that uh, peck at it. Awesome looking fish though, dark colors. I'll take it. Two species so far, hopefully we can maybe get us a little crappie or a, maybe a small mouth. I've caught, I think, maybe two two uh, smallmouth out of here. There goes another one. Oh, is that a bass? Nope. Almost thought I saw a little lateral line on him for a second. So we'll tear up the green sunfish for a little bit. Try the bass jig maybe a little bit and then uh, move on to Probably a couple more spots I'll probably go to. There he is. Oh, that was so cool. Come here, boy. Oh, that's a good bass. This is what I was looking for, folks. He was right in that cover down here. Now, I've definitely seen bigger ones in here, but man, that was cool. He came out and just darted right onto it and just started chomping on it. That was super cool. Very interesting looking bass. He's got all these little black like stuff on him. I don't know what that is, but awesome bass. Um, I would do, I would get my cap, uh, tripod camera and do a close up of it, but I kind of climbed down this hill and I need to get this fish back in the water. So, oh well. Awesome little bass. See ya, buddy. Ooh, that was a good smack. Sorry. I got him. Oh, man. <laughs> Come here. Sight fish, the I can't even talk. The sight fishing has been so cool today. Through this little trout magnet out there, I had to. I was gonna downsize because 
I seen a lot of little fish over there. But uh, as soon as it hit the water, this guy shot right at it. I could see his the flash of the side of him, and that was pretty cool. Let's let this dude go right down here. I guess this is kind of like a a small spillway, I guess. See ya, buddy.